Hey everybody who has watched my E squared experiment video from last year. Um, I've been really busy and I kept meaning to do the other videos for the experiments but I never got around to it. But I um, thought I would share some things that really made a difference for me uh, this past year. Um, number one is take advantage of all the great information on YouTube. There are some wonderful um, channels that I like, people that I prefer to listen to that just somehow I just get more from. Uh, and that one of those is uh, Dr. Robert Anthony. Love him. Um, and that you are creators too. Uh, Jake Ducey. Uh, Your Universe. And what's another one? I don't know if I'm going to say his, his last name. Aaron Daltrey. Anyway, really good stuff. Um, let's see a few others. Neville Goddard. Anything Neville Goddard is very good. Um, I'm probably missing some. Anyway, I'm Pam Grout, obviously. She doesn't do a lot of YouTube things. Um, so anyway, really take advantage of those. You'll get And just listen to them in the car when you're going for a walk, whenever you're doing housework, whatever you're doing. If you're just um, going from here to there, take advantage of that time and play it on your phone. Uh, listen to it more than once. Okay, so that. Um, now I have read Pam Grouth's E Cubed and um, haven't done the experiments per se, but thoroughly enjoyed the book. But I did want to kind of put my two cents worth in um, about my experience in the book and totally recommend the book. Um, but a few things. Um, Learning to let go, not holding on to anything, not fighting stuff. Something that's made a huge difference for me is allowing everything. Even if I don't like it, allow it. Don't fight it. The more you fight it, the worse you make it. Um, instead of thinking about how you're going to get from point A to point B, just envision the finished, the finished product, the finish line, or whatever. Recently, as an example, um, I became a flight attendant and just came out of the blue. Um, glad I did it. I'm, I love the job itself. Uh, it's an adjustment as far as my schedule goes, but I'm getting there. But I um, had my child care and everything squared away, I thought. And the person that was supposed to be helping me ended up, we didn't work out. And um, it was it was actually, I'm, making, I'm downplaying it. It was a nightmare. It was horrible. And I was thinking, how did I track this to myself? I'm not going to go into that right now, but <laughs> we obviously aren't attracted anymore. And it's uh, just a very bizarre turn of events. But anyway, but her um, help helping take care of my home situation while I was gone did get me from point A to point B to get through training school. And when I got back, I knew I had to do something. And I just thought, okay, I'm just going to think about it. It's all going to work out. It's all going to work out. Somehow it's all going to work out. I just thought about what it would feel like to have that ideal situation, the perfect person to keep my son when I'm gone, who can kind of roll with this crazy schedule, and that I can be a benefit to that they, they're going to get something out of this too, that it's not a one-way street, it's a two-way street. Wow. Well, if that person ever just fall in my lap and has been so amazing. She's been wonderful just fantastic she has you know a home situation that's perfect for my son to be in and he has you know someone to play with and she's just great because like I said that last person fruitcake I mean I can't you wouldn't believe it I'm not even gonna say it on YouTube but you would not believe so that happened and then on top of that two other people who can fill in the gaps for my the person who's keeping my son um, it's, it's all just falling into place. It's amazing. And I was just, instead of staying up late and worrying, like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I can just, just relax, don't resist, and just be open to whatever, you know, intuition, any gut feeling, any urging that you get. I don't care if it's just to go to the store, you know, to get a drink. You might meet someone who can make that difference in your life. Something can happen. As an example, this is this is gonna sound dumb. 
<laughs> but I'm not a big lottery player, but I'll play it here and there. And I have my numbers. I have my favorite numbers. And I just decided I'm just going to keep playing these numbers. And eventually, I'm going to win that lottery. Um, and every time I have decided to play, suddenly, I'll get at least one, if not two numbers. Right. Of course, I haven't won any money. Well, I haven't played in a while. And I went to the store and I thought, oh, I think I should get a lottery ticket. No, I didn't win a lottery, so don't get excited. <laughs> but I didn't really focus on it. I think you really need to kind of, like I said, use your meditation and all if you really want to win the lottery. I totally believe in that. I don't care if you think I'm crazy, but I live long enough life that, I, that something about all of this metaphysical, uh, quantum physics stuff, it just is. Sorry to burst your bubble, but it's just the truth. So anyway, did my numbers, got my, my uh, tickets. A couple of days later, I was like, oh, I need to check my numbers. I looked at them. I was one number off on four of them. One number off on all four of them. I'm getting closer. Just saying, hey, I'm not even trying. Okay, one more story I want to tell you about. And that is that I couldn't talk about last summer, but I really wanted to. So, this is how you will get, um, like, you know, you say, oh, I didn't get this kind of money. Like, I got somebody wrote me a $10,000 check. They might as well have written me a $10,000 check. Because last summer, I got an offer to just go and teach some spin classes at a very high-end spin club and fitness club um, at a very nice beach in North Carolina. I don't, well, it's not Myrtle, because it's South Carolina. I don't like Myrtle Beach. I was going to say, it's not Myrtle. Myrtle Beach, not a nice beach, if you ask me. But anyway, um, it's a Riceville Beach. Very nice very, my favorite beach anyway. Uh, so, uh, and, they, and the guy told me that as a trade, to, as payment, you can stay in my oceanfront 5,000 square foot, I think it's 5,000 square foot home on the beach for nine days. <sighs> yeah, that, that was nice, yeah. So, um, no hesitation, I took him up on it. And I, I may have taught, I don't know, 12 spin classes? May, not even that, probably, not even that. And stayed in a house that was uh, on the market for $1.2 million, and it rents for $8,000 a week. So I basically got a $10,000 vacation for nothing, doing something I love to do, which is working out and teaching classes. So anyway, um, and last thing I wanna say is, now that I've done this flight attendant thing, um, I didn't see it coming, but I did in a way. I don't know how to explain this, but when I do meditations, have where I see myself in the future. I didn't know this was a job, but it's exactly kind of the the picture or the little roll of film that I saw myself in last year. So keep digging into this stuff and learn to not resist, allow everything. Um, meditate every single day. Just think about what you really want and be aware of what you're attracting. Because if it's something bad, there's something in you, some belief system that you still have going on that you're bringing that into your life. And I have a story about that, but I'm not going to put it in this video because I want to end it. It's already almost nine minutes. So, anyway, happy manifesting. Do the E-Cubed book. It's wonderful. And have a great day. Let me know what you think.